Everybody ready? Coach, your assessment of today's practice? It was very hot. Very hot. But like we told our guys, you know, Mark been pretty good with the guys, giving them water, giving them breaks. But it's going to be harder on next week, so we better be ready to go. Nine days left. You guys ready? Going to be ready? Like Christmas, man. Hey, expectations are big here. It's not like when we first came, so our guys better be ready. You know, so that, that's a good question, but we've been here nine years now, so we'll be ready. You were sort of our first uh, kind of person saying that Will looks like might be the guy. You know, <laughs> I guess Will, you thought he was the guy. What 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 has he done to, to impress you? You know, and, and how did how would you maybe liken him to other guys that have come through and played quarterback for you guys in this time? Well, I want to be very careful how I say this. You know, I've been around a lot of quarterbacks. Will is one of the strongest arms I've been around. And what I was more impressed with him, you know, I, I was a big fan of Joey, but Will came in the right way. He won the team over, uh, did the little things. He was the first one in, the last one to leave. Just his leadership on the field, uh, guys, all guys start falling, even the defensive guys. So I don't think, not to take away nothing from Steven Johnson, because them guys won games for us, I think Terry Terry Wilson don't get enough credit, but I think the potential for what we're looking for, I think uh, Wills is the guy to do it. I really do. I, I'm very impressed with him. How has his accuracy improved since Liam has been working with him this fall? Well, I don't know because he went in spring, so this is, my, this is our first time working with him. His accuracy has been pretty good. That's why he won the job. Uh, his deep balls are very good. Uh, the ball just comes out. You know in this league, SEC is the closest thing to the NFL, and these corners are good. So when you run an out routes, that ball has to be out. And man, he's one of the best that I've seen throw it. I don't know. When we get, I still want to see when we play somebody. But from what I'm seeing in practice, he looks pretty good. And since when it leads me to believe you can't wait for the first game. What's that, buddy? It leads me to believe that you can't wait till you get that first game so you can see what you want to see. I, I, I'm, I'm very interested to see not just what he do, but a lot of you know we got Wandell this here now. I'm, 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 I'm excited to see what he does. Uh, Dare Rosenthal, he, I'm, I'm excited to see what he does, and then all the guys that's, that came back. So I'm, I'm more excited about to see Will, but I, there's a lot of other guys I want to see too. Since it's been like six or seven years since Kentucky fans first started talking about Wondell Robinson, and he's finally going to play a game for them next next week. How, how have you seen him embrace that kind of spotlight since he came home and made that decision? Wondell is a very, as a professional young man, uh, a lot of guys with that type of talent, you would think that they got a chip on his shoulder or they're, they're arrogant. He's a he's a class act. Uh, broke my heart two years ago. I know he went to the right, so I hope you hear they broke my heart two years ago, <laughs> but he came back and I know the whole state is excited that he's back. He, he didn't want nothing when he came in here. Uh, we knew he was talented as a staff, but he did not want his teammates to think something was given to him, so he came in and earned it the right way, just like Will did. And I, I'm excited to see him. Wondell's a good football player. I don't care what lead he in, he's going to make plays, so I'm excited about that. How's Isaiah Cummings coming along? You see my gray hair start to come in a little bit? <laughs> no, Isaiah's doing a real good job. Normally, guys that transfer from wide receiver to quarter, I mean to uh, tight end, usually he's kind of soft. He, he's really surprised me. Uh, I think Isaiah's going to be a big weapon for us. Not I think he will be. He's really making some plays out there. We just got to get him more up to, up to date with the run blocking. And, I mean, he's going to be a weapon. He's going to be a weapon. We don't talk about Justin as much as maybe we should. What does he bring to that world in terms of the I'm glad you said that. I think Justin don't get enough credit. I think Justin is an NFL tight end. He's exactly what you look for. A lot of the guys, you know, him coming back, he lost about 10 pounds. He really, uh, and, and he, you can ask him this, like in the spring, it was close with Justin and Keaton and uh, Bates. Right now, to me, it's not even close. Uh, Justin is the guy. Justin is professional. I, I can always count on him. He's never missed games. He never missed practice. I mean, you see how hot the heat is, and you want to take a lot of reps. I think people do not give him a lot of credit, but he is very important to our offense. Very important. I mean, he's been here for six years. How have you seen him grow over that? He's always been a big guy, but I've seen him grow as a man. Uh, he's graduated already. He is a leader. Uh, we got a lot of young tight ends in that room. Uh, he really took uh, Isaiah under his wings. He's helping Isaiah and Dingo. Uh, Justin, to me, is one of the captains of the team. Uh, he's, he's a professional. He does everything right, and he plays hard. And I, I, I'm, I'm very excited he came back. It was a big gift for him to come back. One of the guys that's captain everybody is the I guess you could say, uh, is that uh, Rossan Lewis. Mm -hmm. I mean, is he still coming? Is he like to start out? 
He's coming. He's he, nah, he, he's still making plays. You know what I mean? Come on, man. Y'all know who his father is. I mean, genetics is good. Uh, I think he just, as him getting into our program last year, I mean, the kid is an athlete, a great basketball player. We played, you know, pig over there sometimes. He, he probably got like a 40-something inch vertical. He is a, I mean, he's just a natural football player, and he will help us this year. I'm very excited about him. I mean, we had, he's, he was a walk-on. And it's like with anything else, to me, he's a guy that's earning, you know, I don't want to say it, but he, he, he's going to be here. And he's really doing a good job. He's really, good, really helping us out a lot. Vince, has there been a guy in this in camp leading up to now that maybe wasn't on your mind a whole lot, but has really jumped out and grabbed your attention and said, hey, this, this guy may be ready to help? Rashad Lewis, uh, <laughs> Isaiah Cummins, when we made the move. Uh, running back, uh, move, make, moving uh, Michael Drennan to running back. You know, what people don't understand, Michael Drennan was, he was the number one running back in the state of Ohio. And it came up between us and USC and Wisconsin and Coach Settle was the running back coach there. And, you know, with the offensive office coordinator change, when we recruited Mike, we told him that he was going to play running back and receiver. But we wanted him to learn one position. I mean, Mike's a 3'8 student. He's a very smart kid, but he just seems more fresh at running back, more more settled there. And he got a running back built, so Mike's going to help us a lot in this offense. What's Everybody the good? status on Cavassier? He's out there. He's practicing. Come on, say, you know, I think he can smell, you know, that game coming around next week. And, you know, it ain't like when we was here in 13 where you can, you can be hurt and be out. And you're still going to be the running back. We got a lot of good running backs. So it's like the NFL. You better get in there or you, you know, somebody may take your spot. But he's going to help us out a lot. Smoke, I don't think Smoke gets enough credit. He, he's, he's an explosive running back. You guys see him you know, at Auburn last year. I mean, he gets one crease and he's gone. So I'm, I'm excited that he's back. I think we got some real good running backs. But we definitely excited to have Smoke. Yes, I don't think he was out there when we watched last week. But Trayvon Morgan, when he is available, what can he bring to the South? I don't know if we've talked about this. He's another uh, Ma Wagner. He's actually taller than the Ma. You know, that's that's the scary thing. He's taller than the Ma. Uh, he pulled his, you know, he had a little knack and uh, be working through that. But once he get through it, he'll, he'll be out there. He'll be out there. What's the thing about a guy like Cedric Dort to come back and this year and embrace? Because I think you, in certain situations, a guy like Kelvin comes in and kind of takes his job. Last year, maybe you think about leaving, but to come, you know, for him to stick around and then come back and it looks like he's going to start again. This ain't no charity, so you, you got to be able to go every every year. You better be able to play. We got a lot of depth, and I do take my hat off of him. But you know, he's seen. We I, I just got a text. Chris Westry beat out somebody for the Ravens, so that's another DB that's going to be in the NFL playing for us. So he knows the reputation. We have a lot of scouts here. They know we got good DBs in the past. So if he does what he needs to do, he'll be another guy in the NFL. So you got to bring your you got to bring your strap every week, every day. It's competition everywhere. And if you talk to any of these guys, they'll tell you it's competition. It's not like when we was here 13 and 14 where we was just, you know, you couldn't even put five receivers out there. You, you better be ready to go. Vince, you know Stoops better than anybody. Even with everything that's gone on this year, he seems pretty mellow, pretty chill. What do you think? Is that is that real? What's age, different this year? Age. No, it's uh, a <laughs> – I just think, you know, he's been here nine years. You know, Mark – I think Mark's starting to get a lot of credit. But Mark is a professional. Uh, I think most coaches, when they relax, they know they got a pretty good team. Now we still got to go out and play and uh, you know win games. But I think he's just he did it so for so long. And our staff, he have certain guys still in place that he trusts, and uh, he can sit back a little bit and just do the head coach duties. Now he's still gonna mess around with the DBs in there. That's just something you do. But uh, I, I love the way it's grown from our first year. It was it's, it's crazy from our first year to nine now. So. Very excited that I'm still here with it. Okay, folks, thank you very much.